Welcome back to Tran Wins Siege Survival Gloria Victus. We are going to be playing the Lost Caravan DLC. And currently, there's only this basic story. There are no challenges yet. This is, I believe, the first version of the game. I did peek inside the game files to see that there's stuff that has not yet been implemented. I don't know if it's by choice or by accident. And so I'll talk about those, that more as the game unfolds. I will be rereading the dialogue so that this is a standalone episode, but to spice things up, I'll add some sound effects to, to the story. The year 1207, half of a decade into the devastating war between the Sangmar Empire and rebellion of Midlander Lords. Our caravan, led by Viator, was on the route at the sun-scorched frontier, traveling to the farthest imperial provinces with various goods. We marched right into a trap. Scouts of the Midlander's army tracked our steps. Led by greed and hatred that arose in their hearts, they attacked at night. Few of us made it out alive. We found shelter in a nearby caravan sarai before Midlanders surrounded the place and started the siege. It's too hot for them to attack at day, so they wait for the chill of the night. <coughs> we discovered the water in the well is poisoned. Some of our men learned it the hard way. May the wrath of gods guide their souls. There's still a chance to save some of the poison, but we need to find medicine first and find a way to escape this place. We have to survive. Yeah, I used to have a build order where I'd run down here, grab some supplies, grab them right here, then build a dryer with, with those supplies right here behind the well, get the water, and then run to Demetrius. Now we're just going to do something a bit different because we're going to do this more hardcore because I plan on doing the hardest victory condition. <coughs> You see Demetrius, the famous cartographer whose travels to the borders of the known world became legendary. But now, gravely sick from poisoned water, he doesn't look like a hero of the Empire. This man desperately needs medicine. Maybe you can sneak out at dawn and search the remains of the caravan. The caravan Sarai and nearby oasis are surrounded by deadly mountains and even more unforgiving desert. Maybe you can escape by the sea, but you'd need the cartographer's knowledge and a solid ship. Let's see what you can find at the port. We are going to go straight to fishing. We were, actually, no, we'll go ahead and interact with this one too. Just, just to make sure that the story is continuous. But then we'll go fishing right after. We're not actually going to worry about doing any of the rubble at this point. You see an old Tangmarian trading cog, or rather it's poor remains after it crashed on these rocks. You don't need to be an expert to tell the ship is in bad shape. There's an enormous hole in the belly, the mast is broken, and the sail is torn to pieces. But if you could repair the damage, she would be your best way to escape. So the reason why I'm fishing right away is because I'm trying to maximize as many resources as I can possibly get. Uh, I, I can I can gear up, grab these resources at any point. But I'll do that when I actually have an extra person. So someone should always be fishing. Skipping does work as far as filling up the bar, but it doesn't go on to the next thing. So what I mean is I will get at least one bar full if I don't skip right now. And if I did skip, it would have filled up the bar and I wouldn't I wouldn't get the next fishing progress, if that makes sense. So right now I can, at the end of day one, I can get one and a half bars of fishing. If I just hit this right now, I only finish one fishing. So the hardest victory condition requires a lot of wood. And there is, I looked in the game files and there is a, there is a extra character that's supposed to show up and sell you wood, a lot of it. Uh, I think he's not added just because they forgot to add an entry condition. I don't think they, they took him out because it made the game too easy or anything. I thought about adding him back in and then playing the game with that but i figured but i figured that might bother some people looking for a more authentic uh two two thanks game more authentic victory but i thought it'd be really cool if i added him so i my, my plan used to be run down here get two characters and then escape through the frontier pass um i've prepared a much more detailed plan now because that's easy enough and I need a plan for the hardest possible success so that I can experience some drawbacks in the footage. Um, I think again that makes for some interesting viewing if I reach for the stars I guess, I guess as they say in uncharted oceans and uh, land on the moon. All right so we're gonna run over here and get this guaranteed shovel and there's I'm gonna get into the stone pit with my one torch I'm bringing and I have one guaranteed shovel here and two possible shovels. Then we're going to go over here, grab another shovel, and leave this torch here for getting into the merchant's area. Um, go through here with one of my mini shovels, get some tools that I'll use so I won't get hurt. 
possibly two tools, but we'll see. We'll see how much time I have. I probably, I'll probably be burning to death by this point, and all the guards will be chasing me. Uh, which means I'll also have to go down to the old battlefield to escape everybody, and then we'll escape through the Frontier Pass. That is my plan. I don't know if I'm going to make it work. The reason why I'm squeezing all this in is because I want to be able to collect all the raw meat on the map on day two or three before it rots. <laughs> Alright, so I got my one, one torch. That should be good. Let's do this. Wish me luck. Dude, get moving. Stop jiggling your feet. Sometimes when they, 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 they spawn in, they sort of shuffle their feet around like they're about to jog or run a marathon or something. Alright, first things first, I need a shovel. There are six obstacles in the game, and you can see here that this, the, the pickup is different than it has been before. There are two escape choices, and I'm going to pick the harder of the two. The game is a lot easier if you pick the north escape route, but I'm going to be picking the east escape route because I've seen other videos of this, and everybody always picks the astrolabium, and I understand why it is way easier. <laughs> I always try to add at least one twist to my playthroughs, whatever that twist may be, and generally, unfortunately for me, it has to be a harder game. <laughs> I don't want it to be, but... Remains of the caravan are covered with blood of the crew and horses, brutally killed by Midlanders. There's no sight of the medicine, but you see a wagon which transported Imperial officials. It hangs on the edge of a cliff. Then, as you pass by the wagon, you hear someone. A female voice, full of pain and desperation, comes from beneath the wagon. After a while, you recognize her face. It's Aisha, ambassador of the southern province. She traveled with the caravan for the election of a new emperor planned for the next full moon. Everyone thought she was killed during the ambush, but here she is, alive, yet trapped by a broken plank which pierced her leg. She can't move and needs your help, but if you don't want to hurt her even more, you have to try to move the wagon, which is already dangerously close to falling down the cliff. You act quickly. With your aid, she's soon freed from this deadly trap, but the wagon falls down the cliff, causing terrible noise. It will surely alert every Midlander in the valley. Thankful for your help, Aisha tells you where to look for the medicine, in a small case hidden in the floor of one of the other wagons. Aisha's weak, but she'll truly be a burden for your crew. But she's also an Imperial official after all. It's a matter of state. You can't let her die in the middle of nowhere. Aisha is a prominent figure, known for her dedication to the people and the Empire. You take her to the Caravan Sarai, hoping she will recover quickly. Alright, uh, we're going just to grab that. We'll leave this, because I don't know how many inventory slots we're going to have. I've never done this run before. I want to go this way. Dig this up. And we've used up half of our safe time already. By about this point, people will probably be starting to run back to the base so they can get home before the red zone. I am going to be pushing it. It's 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 gonna be rough. I was hoping for a shovel. And that's another pot. Let's keep searching. I don't want any of that. I was hoping for shovels and torches. I get my shovel back, and this is going to be a, a, a basic overall loss for me if I if I can't find a second shovel. All right, so I use one shovel and one torch to get in here and use up the rest of my day to get one shovel and one torch. All right, so so far we are not currently doing well. Can I can I get you to navigate there automatically? There we go. Uh, this is not a good start. I might be able to find more shovels and torches and some of this other stuff, but I'll, I'll search that at a later time. I I really need to keep going. I spent already a long time searching that quarry. I've got basically the minimum I need to go on. First, I gotta burn this corpse. 
I don't know if I can squeeze past it. I probably can, but we're just going to get rid of this. I believe there's something like 14 corpses on the map. Inside is an astrolabium part. It's very easy to get the astrolabium parts. That's that is the easy win condition. We are going to be doing the harder win condition, which requires you to build weapons. Which way is it? It's uh, this way, yeah. When clear this in case the guards can start catching up to me. Behind those rocks, you can see a narrow path. It has to be a secret passage leading to the caravan's arrive. What a useful shortcut will that be? This could be bad. I was expecting to have two shovels by the time I got through here. <laughs> but um, I might have to run past some guards if they trap me inside, which they probably will. Alright, got one set of tools. second set of tools. That's really all I need for right now. I gotta keep moving, but I'm hoping to find something else, too. But two sets of tools is enough to get me started. If I had another shovel, I could break through that path. I, I do not, so... That's the glitched guard right there. The ruins ahead greet you with shades cast by the fallen walls and broken beams, so tempting in this deadly heat. When you come closer, you see some movement inside. You step back carefully, but then you realize it's a Sangmarian soldier, bloodied and trembling with terror. He doesn't notice your presence at first, consumed by fear. Cassius, as the man introduces himself, is an Imperial scout. He tells you how he was captured by Midlanders in the mountains, along with his friend, Ignatius. You're not sure, as the man's face is a bloody mess and you can hardly understand his words. One thing is clear, Midlanders wanted to find the Oasis, and they wouldn't mind to kill the prisoners with cold blood. Ignatius was about to tell the Midlanders what they wanted to know, says Cassius. And I did my best to stop him. <laughs> then the soldier breaks. Just the memory of the suffering, fear, and helplessness he's got through. When Midlanders beat him almost to death, it's enough to make a grown man cry. But he survived, only to find out they left him behind and Ignatius gone. His trauma is powerful, and it takes him a long while to calm down. Then he continues, telling you how he traveled down the mountains without sheltering these ruins. But the screams of murdered civilians echoing through the valley wouldn't let him sleep and rest. This man is broken, and besides dressing his wounds, he really needs some warm meal and a safe bed. So if I add this, uh, he will join as an extra soldier, just a regular common soldier, nothing special. He's not like a super strength soldier or anything. If I pick this, he just goes away. I, we're going to add him to my, to my active party. Being aware that you can't take care of all of his wounds, some can only be healed by time itself, you take Cassius to the caravan Sarai. No matter how bad does he look, He's still a man, and a Sigmarian soldier. You take him to your hideout, hoping that a few nights spent in safety among his countrymen will bring him back to life. Alright, it doesn't look like anybody's chasing me right this instant, so I might have a little bit more time to search for a third set of tools. Armor, uh... I don't even have the thing built yet, so no, we'll, we'll leave that. Let's get going. Dude, run! So they automatically seeking you out. They know exactly where you are. They just aren't running until they uh, see you. This is another astrolabium part. Uh, somewhere around here.
It's trying to avoid uh, getting uh, contaminated. The entrance is almost completely hidden in shadows, cast by the surrounding rocks. The cavern isn't fully natural. The corridor was whited with tools. This might be one of the caves with hidden supplies. You're about to enter the cave, but you stop suddenly, noticing a reflection of light on the metal in front of you. As you look closer, you recognize a blade, the shaft, and some mechanism. It's a trap and a deadly one, but the trigger is close to you. It could be disarmed if you only had some tools with you. Using one of my tools, so I now have one left in my inventory. You carefully dismantle an old but solid mechanism. Somebody put a lot of effort to protect whatever is hidden inside. Upon entering, you see a sturdy coffer. It's locked, but the lock is as old as the trap. So tools you already brought with you are enough to break it. Inside, you find an impressive collection of goods and valuables. All right, we're gonna go and take the one axe. Um, we're actually equipped that, though I don't think I'll be fighting anybody anytime soon. Um, I don't know if I'll be really using the bundle of bolts, but at this point, let me think. What else, what else am I gonna be picking up? Probably grab some brushwood if I have the time. We'll go and bring the mounted crossbow. I don't know if I really... Let's see here. I will be... What else am I bringing? I don't know if I'll be bringing... All right, I'm just going to start sweeping up stuff because I'm almost at the end of my journey uh, for today's run. He's almost discovered me. So now I have my second set of tools. Among the pitiful remains of fortifications and corpses of dead soldiers, you discover a rift in the rock. The way the sun lit its surface makes it barely visible. It's too narrow for you to enter, but when you look closer, you can see that something shines in the darkness. What can it be? Oh, I don't have... Oh, no, it's not a tool, it's a shovel. Okay, see, I told you this is my first time doing this route, so I'm going to get hurt a little bit. Check with your hand. Putting your hand into the rift, you touch something warm, like a human skin? Something grabs your arm and quickly pulls you towards Rift. Surprise, you hit the rocks with your head and fall down into darkness. When you awake, you realize you're on the tip of a knife handled by a stranger. If your character uh, if, if your character is Cassius or Demetrius, they will not get hurt during this event. The stranger comes closer, pointing his weapon at you and observing you with deadly caution. He's a nomad warrior, probably of the Wahgedi tribe, one of many roaming these lands for ages. He's slim and tough despite young age, but he's away from his tribe's land. Is he an outcast? Besides a blade, he handles a rope, the other end of which comes from the rift. So it was him you saw inside. Um, even though he's a Wagedi tribe member, if you bring him to talk to the merchants, they say nothing about it. We're gonna go and calm him down. You open your arms wide to show the man you're not a danger for him, but he doesn't stop. Then you try to calm him down with words, and that intrigues him. Saying Marian? He asks, his voice dry like southern winds. When you nod and explain your situation, he continues. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let me join you and fight those devils from the north. So he can join as a soldier or he can join as a party member. We're going to take him as a party member. The nomad seems to be a tough man, able to endure the pains of the siege and deadly heat. The crew would definitely benefit from his contribution. Zaire, he introduces himself. I lost any hope to meet anyone alive, even though I warned the villagers with signal fire. He is ready to join your crew. Let's get going. I think he's going to see me. He saw me. All right, as soon as he pulls back his arm, I need to dodge. All right, this is an event. We'll save that for Cassius because you get extra dialogue with him. All right, um, we want the brushwood. I know he's still right on my butt. Behind those rocks, you can see a narrow path. It has to be a secret passage leading to the caravan's arrive. What a useful shortcut will that be? And we are out of here. Oh man, that was... That was, uh, that was some run. Okay, I, I pulled it off. That's good. That, that is a good run. The enemy assault approaches. We must get ready for the worst. The enemies are preparing to attack, and we need to support our soldiers to help them stop the assault. All right, uh, man, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> but we, uh, day two, we now have all five party members. <laughs> 
Demetrius is still gravely sick. His face looks miserable and he's shaking in fever. Without medicine, the cartographer would die soon. He needs your help. Give him medicine. You're barely able to wake up Demetrius for just a moment, but he finally takes medicine. Although it'll take some time for him to recover, you can bet he's already shaking less than a moment ago. May the gods save him. Alright, so we are going to have you scavenge, scavenge, scavenge. I'm just going to start grabbing everything, for starters. Alright, what should I build? Uh, furnace is good. Herbal workshop's not bad. We'll start with the furnace, I think. Um, so to upgrade, I'm going to need to find for my next trip bricks and wood, even though I have not scavenged everything. I believe there's only three bricks here, so um, it's, it's not even going to matter. I will find some wood, but I, again, I'm not going to find enough bricks. So yes, we will go ahead and make the furnace first. Um, we'll go ahead and just that here. Can't see too well how this really looks, but we're going to go ahead and put that like right here. You, why don't you build me a bed? Who are you? Apparently you got stuck behind something. Uh, apparently I don't have wood yet. Find stuff. Give me, give me a second and we'll get that. You can start sleeping once the bed is built. Okay, build me that bed. like doing anything without having completed um, the upgrade. I, I don't. I just don't. But I, I, I definitely know where to find iron bars and bricks, so I might just do that instead. Excellent. Alright, so we can build a workbench. Did I leave enough room? Please tell me I left enough room. Good. Good. Alright. And get it to look nice there before you do that no no lady get back here darn it i don't know where any of my arrows are that's that's unfortunate i just don't um so i built that apparently i don't have enough to build the butcher's table which is what i was going to aim for next which is fine um we can start the repair workshop but i kind of want to save my tools what do you think here all right this is fine you can deliver some stuff. It's not great. Um, I kind of wanted to use the axe for myself, but I need to get 26. And I happen to have used my bricks already, so. Right, you get some rest. Actually, you need medicine first. Just need to figure out what I'm actually doing here. Lightly wounded, you'll be fine. Let's see here. I guess I could cook that. I'll wait a little bit. I don't need it right now. Um, I'll wait until the raw meat starts getting a little smelly. How about this? What can I do with this? Nothing yet. I need another set of tools. I, I know where to get some of those. How about a dryer? Nope. Don't have enough wood yet. Like, I, I, I know where to find a lot of this stuff, so I'm not actually worried about building it right now. <laughs> I have all the workforce I need. Not enough to build a second bed, so it looks like a lot of people will be sleeping on the floor tonight. Alright, four soldiers wounded. Garrison Morale stable. That's fine. 
too bad they won't let me take my axe back. I guess I could build a repair workshop and repair it, but I don't want to use planks. That's, that, that's too bad. So they're just going to have to go with axes I find off dead bodies. As for the wounded, um, let me think here. Do I really want to use bandages on this right now? I guess so. All right, that's fine. Can't skip on the Knights of the Bastion fights, so you guys gotta wait it out. There's nothing I really want to do, because I don't have a lot of anything. So we are going to have Cassius scavenge. That's exactly, this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> He's going to sleep. Uh, you're going to sleep. I don't think that's going to heal you, though. I assume it does not heal. Actually, you know what? I guess I'll have the two of you scout. You're sick and sad. I don't know how to fix sadness. I really don't. You'll scavenge. You'll sleep on the ground. I don't think it's going to heal you. But it might. I, I doubt it. But we'll see. Um, you're badly sick from overheating. So this is, this is going to be my next day's run. Let me think here. All right, so my current plan, there is so much raw meat in this region. I'm going to try to collect as much as I, as much as I possibly can. I need a torch. I don't think I do. I just need tools. And I need iron bars, so I should probably start here. Grab a couple iron bars. Maybe some bricks. Then go here, get us get some meat. Then Yeah, and then come back up here to escape. I don't know if I'll make it. <laughs> Let's try, I guess. Do I need any torch? I don't think I need any torches. I don't think I need anything. Let's get moving. Alright, to begin with, since I'm already going ahead and get some iron bars. We're going to go ahead and have Cassius talk to this dude. This Cassius was the guy inside the ruined uh, Imperial outpost that was crying, not the guy inside the cave that was fighting. So Cassius, this is his friend. The scream of pain echoes through the canyons of the valley. Does it come from behind that giant boulder? When you walk around the ruin, you discover an unusual and sorry sight. A huge vultures feasting on the guts of a graybeard cuffed to this boulder. It's the screaming man you just heard. Then something, one of the many rat skulls perhaps, cracks under your foot. The noise scares the bird which flies away. Now you can see the man clearly. His clothing is torn to pieces and covered with blood, but for sure it's Ignatius, an Imperial Scout, and Cassius' his old friend and mentor. He notices your presence, but you can't do anything to save him. Yet when he realizes Cassius he's looking at, he cries loud. They forced me to guide them into the valley, he explains, struggling to catch breath. I thought they killed you. I couldn't forgive myself this failing you so much. Seeing Cassius alive is both a blessing and punishment for Ignatius. He's moved so much he can't even ask to end his suffering. The Adept's Caverns, whispers the old scout, but those words are his last before he dies in pain. Still, he paid back his debt by reminding Cassius about the old vaults with army supplies. They'll be useful if they're still in touch. You take whatever remains of Ignatius' belongings. It's not much, though. Then you do him the last favor and bury his corpse with more rocks. No man deserves to be eaten by scavengers like that. So his last belongings are pen greens and herbs. Uh, psh, let's go ahead. Let's grab that. I can always put it down later. I need a shovel. Please be a shovel. You are not a shovel. Need a few bricks and iron bars. Cloth. Yeah, we'll grab the cloth. Uh, we'll grab the fiber too. I guess I could use some more bandages. I was thinking about that when I had four wounded from that battle. That, that was a lot of wounded. I don't actually need to search that body. Take that. Not finding any iron bars here. I 
Apparently the game knew I was trying to record and decided that I was not going to get any good stuff. I wouldn't, I don't know. We'll leave the bolts. I, I do want the bolts, but I'm not going to really use them for fighting. Should have had some iron bars by this point. The bricks I expected. Nope, no bricks this time. Um, and you know what? I'll go and help myself to the blanks. Materials? Nah, uh, I don't know. I don't think I need material. Oh, I do have the furnace. All right. Oh, I didn't even get the food. I need to get the food. It's so sidetracked. You know, I'll take that and I'll leave this. I, I need to get the food. I need to try for it anyways. I will probably get discovered. Yeah, I'll take that. Just brush. I can't tell for sure, though. these planks and we're gonna take that meal there's still a lot more to search I don't want to get caught I do have quite a bit of raw meat on me now so which way is this way what do I have? Uh, do I have anything to drop for brushwood? Not really. Let's see here. I needed tools. I needed iron bars, which I don't have. Um, I can get one iron bar if I had a torch, which I don't have. So I should make... I don't know. I was hoping to find some iron bars in the... In the, um... In the battlefield. I, I really could have. I'm not making it up. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that and start collecting brushwood on my way back. You know, I'm not quite sure how much raw meat can be held in a stack. 
Hopefully it's not three, otherwise I'm just wasting my time with this, but I'm going to run over here and get the other raw meat. Now, fighting and a torch or a shovel does do a little bit more damage. I mean, fighting as in the fighting attribute. It's just the fighting attribute is not really strong enough, um, but that's because fighting attribute actually varies greatly. Realistically, the characters have some sort of attribute value, and then what happens is they, uh, if they have a higher than basic attribute value, it tells you that they have a bonus in fighting. So let's say that a person's attribute is 100 or something like that. If 100 is basic and they have actually 110, then it, the game will tell you he has a fighting bonus. I have enough of everything. I got all my brushwood. Um, I don't need to collect more bricks because five is the max. I'm not going to find any more bandages up here. Probably won't find any cloth up here. So I think I think this is it. I think I'm maxed on everything I can possibly carry except tools, which I need to carry back. So yeah, we are good now. Let's get out of here. Actually, you know what? Uh, we can search a little bit more. I don't see the guards yet. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to drop my stuff off here, and when I eventually have guards start crossing the bridge or something, that's when I will... Oh, there's one right there. He looks like he's on the bottom, though. No, he's up there. He's up there. I got a, I got a little bit. In fact, I might be able to kill him. If he's by himself, I might be able to kill him. drop all this, grab all my stuff. I didn't really achieve much by doing that. Um, I haven't gotten hit yet, though, so it hasn't actually been a loss. As soon as I... I'm going to try hitting escape to see if that gets me out of that. Yeah. Alright, don't get shot. Don't get shot. Ooh! That shot, that arrow's going to hit me. 